Nigga, you gonna pull up. Shout call up. Alexa, what's the temperature outside right now? Right now, it's 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 114 degrees. Oh my God. You kidding me? It's not even seven yet. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, by the way. So we had to get that coffee in and it is crazy already. 93, 92 degrees, something like that already. It's nuts. It's not even seven o'clock yet. It's like 6.30. It's nuts. But but you guys can guess by the title of this video, we're going to be working on this thing today. Another 96 Impala, guys. Um, nothing crazy. We just do some routine maintenance. Really, really needed maintenance because uh, I don't know if you guys know about these small block Chevys and these older Chevys. It's a pain in the ass to get the oil pan out. Yep. We got to do a lot. A lot to get this thing out this thing is leaking we got to figure some stuff out i'm going to walk you guys through it and show you what i got to do hopefully this information helps you guys out but we got it up on the lift we're going to see what's going on what we have to do actually we have to get the engine we got to get the engine to basically lift it up a little bit just enough to kind of clear this um center section of the car here in order to get the oil pan back so we're going to have to do that remove this flywheel cover and all that um, we're probably gonna have to remove the starter exhaust. Obviously, it's definitely gonna have to remove these exhaust flanges, undo those, but and then the motor mount bolts. So you should just have two clamshell style motor mount bolts, undo those, get the engine hoist up in the front, remove maybe I don't know, like the um, air cleaner box and stuff like that. We'll see what we got to do up front, but nothing too bad. I hope so. So. Other than that, we should be able to just lift it just enough to get this out. But um, let me clean this stuff up a little bit. And you guys got to bear with me too. Because this this one thing I found out. GoPro does not do good in this heat, man. This thing acts up. It freezes up. So I don't know how much footage we'll get today. Because look, sun's already out. Oh boy. It's going to be hot. So stay tuned. pain in the ass definitely pain in the ass so we got everything removed that i can think of right now to kind of get this thing going before we head to the top um so we had, went ahead and removed the exhaust bolts um obviously oil filter all the oil pan bolts so those are mainly going to be 10 millimeter until you get to the outside edges the ones with these studs they should have a few of them that have the studs on them those should be a 13 mil to get those out but the ones in there you guys saw me struggling way back there is just nowhere to nowhere room there's no room to get a socket so you had to use like a open wrench but um with the ratchet built into so use that to get that out um flywheel cover is obviously off starter you guys see got to get that off so this thing is loose now we're gonna see if we can uh, lower this thing down and get to the engine side and then hit the hoist hook it up and see if we can get this thing picked up oh yeah of course motor mount bolts are out you guys saw that those weren't too bad believe it or not um so those came right out so let's go ahead and drop this thing and see if we can get that engine lifted up a little bit all right we're at the engine side now you guys can see i got this thing kind of wrapped up a little bit try to protect this front end um also we got the chain hooked up already went ahead and did that so we undid the bolt or should say the stud that holds this ground here you got a couple ground leads that this stud holds and then put a new bolt in there with the chain there and on the back side i went ahead and hooked it there's a little hook 
I should say like a, a ring on that backside that GM put down there for this particular reason because they know we're going to have to get the engine out of there somehow. So all I got it hooked up is to there with a, uh, with a ring with the hook there. So we'll put the engine hoist in here real quick, kind of see if we can get this thing just enough in the air so we can get that pan out. That's the goal. All right, everybody, it is the next day. Um, we had it kind of quick. It got super hot. It's been like 115 degrees here, but um, it is the next day and I actually got everything kind of prepped up and uh, I got the gasket kind of lined up as well. Um, this is a Felpro gasket kit. If you guys, if I did not mention that in the beginning of the video and they give you these really cool like guide pins. You see these guide pins right there? You put those on four corners of the engine and it just helps you and it keeps the gasket in place so that way you can get the oil pan nice and seated correctly with the gasket lined up now if i did not mention that dipstick does have to come out the dipstick itself but you can get away with having the tube left in there so that way you don't have to remove the tube and you can just kind of shimmy that gasket back on there the old one's actually kind of hard to get out if you have to cut it cut it do whatever you got to do but another important thing is obviously our surface has to be really clean and it be very thorough don't don't be afraid to spend a little time cleaning this thing i mean as long as it takes get it just get it clean get it prep and take a razor blade to it get all the old stuff off scrape it as much as you can i even use a little wire brush with on the drill to get into certain tight spots especially in the main area over here in the back um but also RTV, you're definitely gonna wanna use RTV. I'm using the RTV Ultra Black um, in the four corners. Just use it in the four corners like that, right between, between the engine and the rear and front and main meet. Be um, very generous when it comes to the RTV. Don't be afraid to give it a nice clump in there because the last thing you wanna do is leak and that's where they will leak if it does leak. So be generous with the rtv use it in all four corners like that um and mating surface is nice and cleaned i also use brake cleaner right before i put all this stuff on so that way i knew everything was nice and clean um the car sat overnight also that way we had all the oil as much as you should say as the oil removed off the surface but i'm going to push this gasket up a little bit and then get the pan in here and then that way we can start putting it on. See, you're just gonna kind of have to go up on that gasket just like that. You see how this little, these little guys keep it in place very nice. These little clips from uh, Felpro. It's a really nice um, idea that they came up with putting these small block Chevy um, gaskets in here like this because it keeps everything aligned. There we go. So give it a nice push in there so that way it's nice and straight and even but definitely want to get that rtv nice in there so we're just gonna get our pan throw our pan up here and uh get all the bolts started and snug and then torque everything down the spec as soon as we have the pan lined up uh, and then we'll go over this guy here in a little bit the oil cooler adapter but new pan also is going on the old one had a huge dent on it so this is a new one we're going with the nice new one so that way we know it's ready to go service is good so also i do want to know you're going to have to remove where those guide pins go there's a few studs that are there you're going to have to remove those in order to get those guide pins in there so note that but let me go ahead and throw the pan on there and we'll be right back pan is back in locked and loaded torqued down now if you guys do not know the torque specs so all the corner bolts the ones with the studs those are going to be 15 foot pounds of torque all the outside pan bolts are which is a 10 millimeter is going to be 106 inch pounds inch pounds guys not not foot pounds inch pounds of torque 106 and those are 15 foot pounds and those are half inch bolts 
So remember that. So all we got left is to put that level sensor in real quick. I went ahead and uh, put a new connector on the level sensor as well because it looked like this. Got rid of that. So put a new one in there. And we're also going to put that guy on. This should be part of that um, Felpro kit. We'll put that guy on there like so. And then the seal, the rubber seal around here. Oil filter adapter housing. If I can get it on with one hand like so. Now these bolts, these are like an Allen set bolt. Those are also 15 foot pounds of torque. Torque those down to 15 foot pounds. And once again, make sure that surface is nice and clean. If it's not, make sure you clean it thoroughly, clean it up. So we're gonna bolt this in real quick, put this back in and then start connecting everything once again. Once again, we had to take out the starter. We had to remove the exhaust flanges as well. Motor mount bolts. Um, what else did we have to remove? Uh, flywheel cover, definitely had to remove that. And then we're gonna have to torque, um, connect back that, um, you see that switch right there? It's the AC switch right there. Connect that guy back and then add fluids, dipstick as well. Connect the battery back. So we're just gonna get down to it guys. I'm not gonna show you this um, cause it's really hot out here and it's this camera overheats. So. I'm going to get everything on and then we'll be back once I get everything on to show you guys what it looks like. Bam guys, we got it back on the ground. All we got to do is button up the engine side real quick a little bit. And then in the front, I removed that stud that holds those grounds in there. And then I just put a bolt in there. So we're going to have to put that guy back in there as well. Um, we're going to go ahead. Damn. Whoops. There it goes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove that real quick. Put the in tank back on as well, and then throw oil in it, dipstick, and she's good to go. I don't know if I told you guys, but I put a new fuel line in here too. So we got to get the gas up there. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's purring. She is purring, you guys. Oh yeah, that thing sounds so good. This thing sounds really good. It's pretty much stock, guys. Everything looks pretty stock. So this thing's gonna run like a dream. So, I mean, I, I personally like stock Impalas the way they run. We gotta grab that bolt out of there from the chain. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this um, film protection off. And then we're actually gonna go get it, get a bath for it, you know what I mean? Before it goes home. I'll see you guys at the car wash. We are back from the car wash. We got her all cleaned up. She is ready to go home. Looking real good. I really like these wheels, man. These wheels are really nice. These things look really good. 20 inch rims on it, on the Impala, shop cola. Yes, sir. Well, guys, this thing is all hooked up. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications, and stay wrenching.